it included transsexuals and transvestites, um, but as I say, often um, people who just you know may dress in um, a man that may dress in women's clothing might not necessarily call himself transgender. Um, but I think um, some people who have undergone surgery, some people who haven't undergone surgery, it can involve all of those people. And we looked at 16 years worth of um, patient files and really only found a very small number of people who identified as transgender. People who identified themselves um, up front to a clinician as transgender we included, um, and also people that um, the clinicians themselves um, noted, um, although it might not have come across initially, um, as being transgender. Um, but people um, are given the option of identifying themselves when they register at the clinic um, as, as being male or female or other. There were these two very distinct groups. Um, and I, I suppose I thought, oh, everyone was high risk, but in fact we were seeing people who were in mm. fact quite low risk. But about um, half of the population who've had any sort of gender reassignment surgery or, or even if they haven't don't actually have sex, they don't, they're not in a sexual relationship or they're not sexually active. The health related issues of transgender people are related to their marginalisation really. They um, may find it more difficult to access healthcare so they don't tend to come in. Uh, as early as, say, you or I might come into um, a health facility, um, they fear that they're going to be discriminated against. Clinicians might have felt a bit uncomfortable about, you know, asking someone um, to, you know, be examined because they, you know, see someone dressed as a woman in front of them knowing they have to examine male genitalia would maybe make them uncomfortable. But I think also possibly the transgender patient may as well be uncomfortable with the idea of being examined. So I think the discomfort probably is felt on both sides of the desk. I think you know we have to look at, at our own practice here to sort of determine why maybe we were um, not examining as many people as maybe we should have. And uh, I think we do really need to know more about whether there are gaps in terms of um, services that transgender people uh, need to access. <laughs>